somebody you used to work for over at Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos, touring your factory floor, your factory of the future too. Hey everyone, and welcome to Investing Guide. We see space companies like SpaceX constantly innovating and pushing forward with new technology every year. But why don't we see this fast growth with Jeff Bezos' space company, Blue Origin? A lot of people seem to think that Blue Origin are putting in more effort than they're getting out of the results. Are they falling behind or falling off altogether? Sit back and get relaxed as we go through what's going on at Blue Origin. Make sure you stay until the end as we've got some pretty fresh information about what Jeff Bezos has in store for Blue Origin. And we ask ourselves whether Blue Origin is the failure that some people are starting to think it is. We've got some pretty shocking news for you. Although Blue Origin has been around for quite a long time, two years longer than SpaceX even, the company is yet to make big waves and big news across the space industry. SpaceX seems to be winning the billionaire space race right now, but why is that? Elon Musk famously said, if things are not failing, you're not innovating enough. And it's true, SpaceX has recently marked more than 100 successful flights into space. Blue Origin has not even entered space yet. The logo of Blue Origin is a feather. This represents the perfection and precision of spaceflight. And Jeff wants the mentality behind the company to be just that, perfection. No matter the time or the cost. But all this perfection is definitely coming at a severe lack of progress. Looking at SpaceX and its countless failed experiments. So, this has led to a faster rate of progress for the competing company. But some credit has to be given to Bezos as their flagship rocket, the New Shepard, has one of the best rocket landings ever witnessed. Supposed to land like a feather and has a high success rate of landing perfectly almost every time we know of. Another reason Blue Origin might be struggling is Bezos is the sole investor in Blue Origin, putting in around $1 billion a year thanks to his success in Amazon. But is Jeff Bezos afraid of losing money and would rather sacrifice fast progression instead of having rockets fail or explode and lose the money? So far, it seems likely. Although, he actually went on record stating that his work with Blue Origin is the most important work that he is doing. But as we see in the company's progress, it isn't fast, but it has a high level of perfection. SpaceX is fighting tooth and nail every single day with the big contracts and the huge government tenders. Even the approach and mentality behind the company, with its heavy cost-cutting practices, are all geared around providing the best alternative to NASA and other big clients. With this in mind, one of the higher-level executives within SpaceX actually went out and said, the free money from Amazon can hurt motivation and drive. Let's face it, Elon Musk's vision of colonizing Mars is definitely not cheap. One big venture of Blue Origin is the New Glenn rocket. Now, this big boy rocket is sitting at about 95 meters tall, a mere 20 meters short of SpaceX's Starship rocket. Keep in mind, the Starship is the rocket that is meant to take us to Mars. Although a bit behind the SpaceX timeframe, when the New Glenn gets up, rolling and fully operational, it will be hard to see any client that will prefer the Falcon 9 and SpaceX considering the larger payload. The slow rate of progress might be because Jeff Bezos is not hesitating to keep pumping money into the company. The ideology is that some believe that to be the case. When you're making $1 billion a year from another business, you sort of lose the motivation to do anything in the current one. The idea behind this is Jeff Bezos doesn't have to rely on innovation from Blue Origin to keep money coming into the company. However, SpaceX must keep innovating, otherwise it will lose contracts and revenue sources. The outline of short, medium, and long-term plans for SpaceX is pretty clear. Currently rolling out its Starlink program, the Global Internet Service, performing transportation for NASA, all while building the incredibly huge Starship for our eventual travel to Mars. The vision and plans of Blue Origin are only really starting to materialize now. It is easy enough for Jeff Bezos to go on stage and say he sees a future with millions of people living on huge spaceships, but what is actually getting done? There is no set date, no hard timeline, and so it could easily seem that the company is just sort of wafting around. However, Jeff Bezos has stated before that Blue Origin is not about being the first of winning some race. He wants to set up space infrastructure so the next generation of people can use Blue Origin to improve upon and better space travel. We are only now seeing the fantastic news about the new Shepard, the new Glenn, and the Blue Moon as the realistic timeline of the company is finally starting to take place. The motto of the company is Gratatim Ferocita. 
This Latin phrase translates to step by step ferociously and really does embody Blue Origin and its perfectionist approach to spaceflight. It also looks like Jeff Bezos is starting to enter Sir Richard Branson's territory. With Virgin Galactic focusing on space tourism, letting the average person live their childhood dream of becoming an astronaut as opposed to colonizing Mars like SpaceX or space colonies. With Branson offering tickets like this for about $250,000, we can estimate similar pricing from Blue Origin with flights on the new Shepard potentially happening in the future, although nothing has been publicly mentioned by Blue Origin yet. Until recently, very little has been known about Blue Origin really. Jeff Bezos has kept the company a secret for a very long time. Even when he created the company, he only told a handful of close friends that he was actually looking into aerospace. Even in 2003, when Jeff Bezos was in a very serious helicopter crash outside of Texas, no one had any idea that he was actually looking for a potential launch site location. So even though Blue Origin rarely tells us what they're up to, when they do tell us, it happens very slowly. All up, it's been estimated that around $2.5 billion have been invested in the new Glenn Venture. But that's not really a waste. Apparently, Blue Origin has a couple of customers lined up. Although SpaceX does have some big NASA agreements, Blue Origin actually secured a $500 million contract from the American Air Force and was using that to fund the new Glenn. This $500 million venture was supposed to get paid over six years. However, the Air Force switched to the United Launch Alliance and SpaceX for the contract. The Air Force already paid Blue Origin around $260 million, but was forced to cancel the contract due to the company not being able to get a National Security Space Launch procurement contract. But SpaceX and Blue Origin have a really different idea of where they will be going in the distant future. SpaceX has clearly been aiming for Mars since 2017. Right now, looking to use their biggest ships, the Starship, for crewed missions in 2022. This is way earlier than NASA even aiming to go up to the moon by 2024. By 2050, Elon Musk and SpaceX are going for full Martian colonies and space cities on Mars. But Blue Origin is aiming to provide more of a supporting role for all space ventures. Even though Blue Origin is making all these incredible rockets, with a huge range and definitely the capability of reaching Mars, Bezos has said many times that he does not support the idea of living on Mars at all. The new Glenn rocket is set to have its first satellite launch later this year. Compared to the progress of SpaceX in recent times, Blue Origin is seriously lacking behind. Although SpaceX will definitely be delaying a lot of these plans, you can't argue that they've had a very successful history of delivering. But will this approach of running Blue Origin and Bezos constantly pumping money into this lazy company have cost him the opportunity to get the upper hand in the space race? It's hard to tell whether Blue Origin's big plans for the future will ever come true, and it definitely doesn't look as though Blue Origin will ever catch up with SpaceX. We're a new and upcoming channel, guys, so please tell us if you hated the video or loved it. We'd really appreciate your feedback. Leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and while you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen.